Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on algebraic expressions. So um, uh, here's our common core strand and our, our question here is how do we use add and subtract and multiply algebraic expressions? We should have put in there how do we factor um, uh, also. We're going to start introducing factoring in this lesson also. So adding and subtracting expressions. We can use the properties of addition along with the distributive property to add and subtract algebraic expressions. So here's an example right here. We're going to add um, uh, like terms here. So Jill and Kyle get paid per project. Jill is paid a project fee of $25, plus she gets $10 for out, per hour. So she, she goes there, she gets $25, bucks, and then after that, $10 per hour. Kyle is paid a project fee of $18, plus $14 an hour. Uh, write an algebraic expression um, representing how much a company will pay to hire both to work the same number of hours on the project. Okay, so we want to include them both. Okay, I'm going to color code these, Jill in blue and Kyle in red. Okay, so here's Jill. Jill gets $25 for going there and then $10 an hour after that. Uh, Kyle gets $18 for going there and then $14 and after that. So the, the, there's the fee right here. Jill's fee is $25 bucks and then her hourly rate. Kyle is $18 bucks plus his hourly rate. Okay. Uh, if it was going to be a, a small amount of hours, I'd take Jill, but if it was going to, I'm sorry, uh, I would take Kyle, but if it was going to be a bunch of hours, I'd definitely take Jill because Kyle gets more per hour. Anyways, th this question is asking um, uh, how much, uh, write an expression to represent how much the company will, will pay to hire both of these. So what we're going to do is add this and this together, okay? So let's add the expressions to represent the amount right there. So there it is right there, Jill's and Kyle's together. Let me slide that up right there. Okay, and then uh, as my computer is spinning wheels right here, here we go, sorry. Um, let's go ahead and combine those like terms right there. So um, using the commutative property of addition, we just commuted this 18 through next to the 25, and we commuted this 10H through next to the 14H so we can get the like terms next to each other. Now you don't have to do that you guys. I'm just showing you what the commutative property of addition means. And then we can add these numbers together. 25 and 18 is uh, 43 and then 10H plus 14H is 24H. Okay so that's that right there. Let's answer the question. So the company's going to pay uh, 43 plus 24H and H representing the number of hours to hire both Jill and Kyle right there, okay? So what can you read directly from the expression 24, uh, or sorry, 43 plus 24H that you can't see with this right here? Well, well, this is the total amount that we're gonna pay both of those, so something like that. Um, uh, we can say, oh, golly, my computer's being slow. Just a second, as it spins, I might have to shut this off and redo it. Uh, maybe not. So the total amount of the company pays in fees per hour, that's what we can see with that. Okay, all right, so let's simplify these expressions. Okay, since there is nothing in front of this uh, parentheses and there's only a plus sign in this parentheses, we can drop the parentheses right there. Let's do that. Okay, and then we'll, um, we'll combine the like terms. We'll put the 3x and the 7x together and the 1 half and the minus 4 and a half together. Okay, let's do a number line so I can show you this. Now, this is easy enough to see. 3x plus 7x is 10x. Okay, so plus a half. So if I went here's 0, plus a half right there, and then we subtract 4 and a half. Well, there's a half, and then we subtract 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to end up at minus 4. So I get 10x minus 4 is the final answer on that. Okay, see I color coded those. All right, now this one here, you guys, there's a minus in front of these parentheses right here. So I have to distribute the minus through. So this is going to be a minus 1.5x, but it's also going to be a minus 1.4. That, that uh, minus sign has to get distributed all the way through the parentheses. All right, let's, can, let's do the commutative property, and we'll put the x's together and the numbers together. Okay, all right, so let's see. So minus 0.25, so that would be minus a quarter right there, and then we're going to subtract one and a half. So here's one right there, and then a half is going to get me to 1.75x. 
Okay, and then minus 3, minus 1.4, so minus 3, and then we got to go another minus 1.4, so it's going to be over there, so what's that? Minus 4.4, so I get a minus 1.75x minus 4.4. Okay, just don't forget to distribute through. All right, so here we have 5 minus 3 times the quantity 7x plus 8. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute this minus 3 through. So minus 3 times 7x is minus 21x. Minus 3 times 8 is minus 24. Okay, all right, so there we go. And then uh, let's combine those like terms. We're going to add, um, oh, I guess not. I added the opposites. There's several ways we can do this. So minus 21x is the same as plus a negative 21x. Minus 24 is the same as plus negative 24. So we're going to combine these. 5 plus a negative 24 is a negative 19. So typically we write uh, the x is first, you guys. Uh, I'm sorry, the number first and then the x is second. It doesn't matter if you write negative 21x minus 19. It doesn't matter. Either way is okay. Okay. So your book answer is that they added the opposite. I, I, I don't know. To me, it looks a little bit, a little bit cleaner with this one right here. Whatever. Okay. All right. Just excuse me. <coughs> and I typically go from sorry, you guys, from this statement down to this statement. Can you see this? Five minus twenty-four is negative nineteen, and then minus twenty-one x. Again, we can write the minus twenty-one x first, and then minus nineteen. It just depends on what kind of mood you're in and what kind of mood the book is in. All right, so here we're going to simplify this rascal. Okay, so so here it's negative 9a minus one-third times all of these. So I'm going to distribute negative one-third times negative three-fourths. Remember, a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. Negative one-third times negative two-thirds a. Again, a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. Negative one-third times 12, a negative times a positive is a negative. Okay, so that's all I did. So right there I did that. Okay, notice it's a plus and then another plus and then a minus right there. Okay, let's do some cross-canceling, you guys. Okay, when we're multiplying fractions, we as long as they're in the denominator and numerator, I can cancel out these threes. Okay, nothing to cancel out here. But I can cancel out this 3 and this 12 right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right there. And then let's multiply, you guys. So, so I have negative 9a plus 1 times 1 over 1 times 4, so plus 1 fourth, plus 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 or 2 over 9a, and then plus 1 times 4 over 1. So I'm sorry, did I say plus? So minus, so minus uh, 4 right there. All right, so now what I'm going to do to get common, because we have fractions, you guys, so we got to make uh, one-fourth in common with this. So negative four is 16 fourths. And then two-ninths in terms of nine, I'm going to change this to negative 81 ninths right there, okay? So that way we have common denominators with our like terms, okay? So now what I'm going to do is do, these are common denominators. See, this is my negative 9a, negative 81 over 9. Okay, negative 81 divided by 9 is negative 9. Okay, so anyways, negative, now we can, uh, once we got these like terms, we can go negative, uh, negative 81 plus 2 is negative 79. And then 1 minus 16 is uh, a minus uh, 15. Okay, so there's that. Let's con convert these to uh, mixed numbers. Negative, or 9 goes into 79 eight times, which is 72. So 7 left over. So so negative 8 and 7 ninths A. And this goes into this 3 times with 3 left over. So minus 3 and 3 fourths. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep going. Okay. So here we're going to do some distributing right here. Okay. Let's distribute that. Uh, okay. 2 times 3 is 6. So 0. 0.2 times 3B is uh, 0. 0.6B. 2 times 15 is 30, so 0 0.2 times 15 is 3.0. We've got to move that decimal over, okay? So there's that right there, and then we'll combine the like terms, those C's right there. Negative 3 plus 6 is 6, so I'm sorry, negative 3 plus 6 is 3, so we get a plus 3C, okay? So 0.6B plus 3C. All right, so let's distribute this rascal through. So 2 thirds times this, 2 thirds times this. 
2 thirds times this. Watch for that negative right there, okay? There we go. That's just that right there. And then let's start cross canceling, okay? 3 goes into 6 2 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 goes into 21 7 times. Let's do that. And then we'll just multiply everything. So 2 times 2 is 4e over 1, which is 4e. Okay, 2 times 3 is 6f over 1, which is 6f. And then 2 times 7 is um, uh, is uh, 14g over 1. Okay, so let's do that right there. Okay, now there is a couple of like terms we can combine. We can combine minus 7f with the plus 6f. So that's going to get us a minus f right there okay so typically you guys they write them in alphabetical order and especially since this one's positive it just looks a little bit cleaner if uh, we put the 4e first well e f g so a b c d e f g anyway did you know that that uh, jingle sounds the same as um what is that uh golly uh, something uh, I don't know I forgot all of a sudden anyway sorry <laughs> something about stars anyways all right let's put that negative three through uh, so I'll think of it before we get done with this A B C D E F G uh, twinkle twinkle little star there we go same jingle so negative three x plus six because a negative times a negative I'm sorry you guys it distract you five x minus x is four x I'm sorry five x minus three x is two x and then 2x minus x is 1x, or just x, so x plus 6 is our is our answer right there, okay? All right, let's put this minus uh, 0.5 through. It's like taking a half. 0.5 times 12 is 6, so it's a minus 6y, and then negative times a negative is going to be a plus. A plus uh, half of 7 is 3.5, so, so we get that right there. Let's combine the like term, so... So I did that over here. You can see I added uh, 8.3 and 3.5 and bring down the decimal. Here when I subtracted uh, the 6, 6.0 minus 3.4 for the 6, because these are opposite signs. So you think absolute values, you subtract them and take the bigger absolute value, which is this minus right here. So I get 2.6, so it's a minus 2.6 on that, okay? All right. So uh, factoring expression. So a factor is a number that is multiplied by another number to get a product. And so to factor is to write the number as an expression, as the product. Factoring, you guys, is the opposite of multiplying. Factoring is the opposite of distributing. Okay, we're going to use algebra tiles here to uh, show why that is. So algebra tiles, we're going to use... Um, uh, this long sort of rectangle one right here. Now, if you don't have algebra tile, just watch for a second, and I'll show you uh, the, the algebra way to do that. But with algebra tiles, we're going to let this be 1x right here, and this is going to be plus 1 right here, okay? So if I had plus 5, I'd write 5 of these. So if I had x plus 5, it would be 1 of these and 5 of these. If I had 2x plus 5, it would be 2 of these and five of these okay so here we're gonna factor 4x plus 8 and we're gonna model the expression using algebra tiles so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a, um, uh, how many positive x tiles well there's four of them so we're gonna use four positive x tiles and this plus 8 means we're gonna add in 8 so I'm gonna do four of these guys right here these guys, I'm going to do four of these and then eight of these guys right here, okay? So here it is right here. So let's do four of the X tiles and eight of the one tiles right there, okay? And then so um, factoring is, uh, is what times what equals 4X plus 8. So if we can arrange these into a rectangle, because rectangles are the areas equal to length times width, um, then we can show um, what times what equals 4x plus 8. Okay, so let's arrange these tiles to form a rectangle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to I'm going to take this guy and bring it over here. I'm going to make a rectangle with these. Bring that over here. Okay, I don't know how good I'm going to uh, make a rectangle. Bring that over here. Here's so there's 3x. Here's 4x. Okay, and then we're going to do the the one. So I'll do one here let's grab another one one here okay and see we're going to make a rectangle so a rectangle is going to be it's almost a rectangle let me keep going let's do we got to fill it all up so it makes a rectangle if it doesn't make a rectangle then we cannot describe the area which is length times width 
Oh my, I forgot one here. Let's uh, let's add another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm sorry, I got to have eight of them in there. So let's do that because we got eight of those rascals. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so there it is, right there. So I have four x here, and then I have uh, x plus two right there. Can you see that right there? Okay, so now let's recall the area of a rectangle is the length x, uh, the length x width. Okay, so here's my length, and then and then the length and, uh, and the width of the rectangles are the length. I'm sorry, did I say length x? Gosh, my, it's because I crammed it in right here. I got it all so here. Let's just go here, you guys. Okay, so so um, recall, you guys, the area of a, of a rectangle is length times width. That's what I was trying to get out right there. Okay, so here's the arrangement. So so here's the length. Here's the width right here. Okay, so the width is x plus 2. The length is for these x tiles. So there's there, the width is 4 1 tiles or 4. Okay, the length is, um, uh, is uh, 1 x tile. Okay, so there's 1 x tile and then two one tiles right there, okay, or x plus two right there, okay. So remember, you guys, the area of a rectangle. Now this is this right here is my four x plus eight. Here's my four x plus eight right there. All right, and then the area of this rectangle is this length times this width, or this I'm sorry, this length times this width. So it's going to be. 4 times x plus 2. Okay, so so use the expression for the length and width of the rectangle to write the area of the 4x plus 8 in factored form. So it's 4x plus 2. Okay, so here it is. Here's my here's my uh, 4x's right here, and then um, and then plus 2 right there. So here's x plus 2. Here's 4 times x plus 2. Okay. All right, I hope that makes sense. I kind of tongue-twisted that. So how can we use the distributive property to check out uh, our factored form? So uh, just slide that up right here. Okay, so this is how I do it in my algebra class. Is, is Here is 4x plus 8 factored right there. And how can we check our answer? We can just distribute through. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2 is 8, so 4x plus 2 would be multiplied out to 4x plus 8, okay? So if I said factor 4x plus 8, I can pull a 4 out of that and a 4 out of that to get 4 times quantity x plus 2. Let's do that shortcut with, with these guys right here, okay? So we can just distribute that 4 through. All right, so, so what can we pull out of these guys? 2x plus 2, I can pull a 2 out. If I pull a 2 out of that, I'm left with x. Well, a 2 out of 2, I'm left with 1. So 2 parentheses x plus 1. Now, how can we check our answer? We can just mentally distribute through 2x plus 2. Okay, how about this guy? I can pull a 3 out of that, a 3 out of that. So when I pull a 3 out of that, I'm left with x. 3 out of 9 is 3. So 3 parentheses x plus 3. And to check, we just multiply through 3x plus 9. Okay, all right, this guy. I can pull a 5 out of these guys, so I get 5 with an x left over plus 3, so 5x plus 3. Again, you can distribute the 5 through to see, pull the 4 out, 4x plus 4. Again, you can distribute that uh, 4 through to, to check your answer. Remember, factoring is the opposite of distributing or multiplying. All right, you guys, I thought those pencils were cool, so it's a piece of pie. Take care.